Greetings from the Void, everybody. My name is Naze. I am the owner and director of Void of Voices, and welcome to a tier list video. That's right. We're going to be doing some top tens, some character bios, and some countdowns. However, I thought some tier list videos would fit in there nicely. And we have so many planned. We've got some character designs for Sonic, character designs for Eggman, character designs for everybody. Shadow, Tails, all that. But I wanted to get started with a tier list of not designs, but rather some villains. The game villains of Sonic the Hedgehog to be exact. And I found this tier list. There was a bunch. But they had so many characters. I didn't want to take up too much time. So... I found this tier list that I think is pretty, you know, pretty simple to follow, pretty right down the middle of what I'm looking for, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to go through and give you my opinion on where each of these rank, and the one rule is we have E, D, C, B, A, and S. S means the best, and in my opinion, there can't be more than one best, so only one villain on this list gets to stay in S at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started first up we got the robot thing from sonic rider zero gravity and anytime you're a robot from sonic riders zero gravity or any a villain or character and antagonist from just a riders game unless you have a cool design or memorable dialogue you're not gonna go real far so you unfortunately mr robot are going in the e rank now when i do these tier lists the character that is the closest to the letter is the best in that category, and the one furthest away is the worst in that category. Keep that in mind. I don't know every character's name, but I do know where they came from. Now we got some witch from uh, one of the, <laughs> some of you might not know this. Tails had his own games back in the day, and this witch is from that game. And again, that's an E. <laughs> not doing too hot right now, are we? Up next, another bad game. Jeez. Up next, I can't remember this character's name either. Don't care. It was the leader of an evil clan from uh, Sonic Chronicles of Dark Brotherhood, which was a turn-based RPG that, well, it was not good. But I would definitely say what this character did was better than what any of these characters could do. Next up. And a cool design to boot. Not a great design, but a cool enough one to stay at the front of you. This weird bird creature, also from Tails' game. You know what that means? I don't like his design. At least this is a witch. Kind of looks like a witch version of Eggman. Got that going on. This is a cool looking robot. Kind of has like a Batman tier thing going on. I always thought about that. I always thought it would be like a, a Batman type robot. But, you know. And this looks. This straight up looks like something from Hollow Knight. But this is just no. I'm not a fan of this design at all. All right, we've moved on to the characters that I actually know decent amounts of. Not the greatest, but a decent amount. And here we go. We have Captain Whiskers. Now, Captain Whiskers, I believe, is the villain from Sonic Rivals, I want to say. I could be wrong, but I think it's the game is Sonic Rivals. He's not the greatest villain, and a lot of those villains from those games don't do too hot. I can tell you that right now. But... He does have a pretty cool looking design, you know? It, a robot pirate could look silly, but I don't think he is. I think the design of Captain Whiskers here is pretty good. Sonic, not uh, Rival, Sonic Rush, I think it is actually. Sonic Rush, or Sonic Rush Adventure, I think it is. Just because of his design alone, he's going in the D category. There you go, Captain Whiskers. Way to step up. Oh boy. This guy. Oh, this guy. This is the genie. Uh, I forgot his name. The genie from Secret Rings. Um, Jin or Jin or something like that. I don't remember. I do not like Sonic and the Secret Rings. Let that be known fact right now. I'm not a fan of Sonic and the Secret Rings. I'm not a fan of this genie. I'm not a fan of much of him, but he did at least give a threat to Sonic. The other ones weren't really that big of a threat. Captain Whiskers kind of, but I would definitely put him in the D rank. He's not terrible. Dark Gaia from Sonic Unleashed. I 
Sonic Unleashed is my least favorite video game because it had so much potential and they squandered it. Squandered it. We'll learn more about squander potential very, very soon. Uh, not very soon, but close to this list. But Dark Gaia has a creepy design, a really cool aesthetic, and it's this evil being that lives inside the Earth's core. Dark Gaia is a pretty cool boss fight too. I think Dark Gaia belongs in the B rank. I know some people might put it A. There might be a person who puts it in the S. That person's not me. Top of B rank goes Dark Gaia. Controversial time, chaos. Now hear me out. Chaos is the antagonist from Sonic Adventure 1. I'm sure a lot of you know that. And a lot of people hold chaos very fondly but I'm not one of them. I don't have the nostalgia. I did grow up around this time, but I never played this game till much later. And Chaos just doesn't have a personality. It's a cool looking character. It's just some weird alien liquid monster. And its final boss fight is kinda cool. I would definitely think it's better than the genie and Captain Whiskers over there. But other than that, Dark Gaia doesn't have a personality either, but Dark Gaia is this being that lives inside of this earth and it's possessing these other um i don't want to say deities these other guardians of the chaos emeralds and turning them into a dark gaia version that's what makes dark gaia better than chaos chaos is just kind of kind of there i mean it's not bad i wouldn't put it in the bad category i guess b is and c are kind of in the middle but yeah i'm not changing it chaos top of c probably will stay in the top of c Next up, the Babylon Rogues from the Sonic Rider series. I love Jet the Hawk. The other two, I don't even remember their names that much. I'm sorry if any of you guys are fans of them. But Jet the Hawk alone was a good rival. These were great rivals for Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails in the Riders uh, video games. They obviously weren't bent on world domination, but they look cool. They got a cool aesthetic. It's this bird gang. We didn't see many birds except for Bean. So I've got to put them right here ahead of Chaos, but behind Dark Gaia. That's where the Babylon Rogues go. No A or S. Could that change soon? We'll see. Black Doom, I think his name is, or Dark Doom, Black Dark Doom, Darkness, whatever. I don't care. The main antagonist of Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, design-wise, he looks great. And what he accomplished, he rained demons from the sky to take over the city. So he did his job, but he's just one of those villains that's just kind of, I'm evil because I'm evil. I'm a being of evil. Blah, hate me, fear me, right now. He doesn't have much of a personality or backstory to him. Now they try to give him a backstory with Shadow. If you've never played Shadow the Hedgehog, I won't waste your, uh, well, I guess not waste your time. I won't spoil the game for you, but don't waste your time playing it. That's what I was trying to say. Black Doom, ahead of Chaos, but below Babylon Robes and Dark Knight. Merlina or the Dark Witch? Now this, mind you, this game came out in 2010, 11, somewhere. It's a storybook series. I like Black Knight. Not a fan of Secret Rings. Black Knight's good. And I would love this Dark Witch more if we got more time with her, but she just shows up for the very end. She shows up to be the main villain of Black Knight. Sorry if I spoiled that. I won't spoil Shadow, but I'll spoil this. Of course I will, right? And she has an awesome boss fight. Because of that, and she has personality, I put her ahead of Dark Gaia, Black Doom, and all of them. She looks cool. She has a really cool boss fight. You fight her as Excalibur, Excalibur Sonic. And the theme song that plays when you face her is awesome. Eggman Nega. I believe he created Captain Whiskers here. But Eggman, Nega. Nega is, uh... Yeah, Eggman, Nega is... Going right here in the C category. He's okay. I know a lot of people are fond of his design. I'm not one of them. He's just a color swap of Dr. Eggman himself or Robotnik. So he's gotta go and see. I don't think he's cool as these guys. He's alright. I'm not the biggest fan. Maybe you are, but I'm not. Gerald Robotnik, this has to be him. I would hope so. The creator of Shadow the Hedgehog. That alone goes to A. You created one of the most ultimate beings to fight Sonic ever, and it ended up helping Sonic in the long run. I think 
that alone a being related to eggman a and he has some lore to him that kind of really ties him into the sonic uh i guess lore <laughs> he has a backstory to him that ties him into the sonic lore there we go so he's going in the a category first a is a robotnik not eggman nega the heavy king another a rank he is a robot version of Eggman, essentially, but he's more evil. And if we can go to the the comics for a second, not the game, that anniversary special, I love his character. He's got this over-the-top evilness to him, but then he, he goes straight goofy. And for that, he's, he, he's in the A rank, not ahead of Gerald Robotnik, mind you. Gerald Robotnik here... He stays in A because he made Shadow. This guy tried to harness the Phantom Ruby and then ended up failing. They all failed, obviously. Ended up failing at what he was trying to do. But ultimately, he's, uh, he's got a cool design. He's a cool looking character. And he was a nice touch for Sonic Mania. Iblis. This, I want to put him in E so bad, but I can't. Because while I don't like Iblis, he's a very dull and boring fight. He's a very dull and boring boss battle. He's a very dull and boring character. He did cause massive destruction to Silver's city. For that, I'm going to put him in the D rank at the front. But I don't like him. I do not like him. At all. Next up, this thing. I think this is from the Sonic Rivals series. Uh, no. No. It doesn't even look cooler than the robots. It's going in the E rank. I don't even want to waste time with that. Infinite! It's a character that beats Sonic with the Phantom Ruby. Has a really cool theme song. B. I don't think Infinite deserves A just because his potential was squandered. And it's a darn shame because he could have really been one of the more... Uh, in-depth villains of Sonic the Hedgehog, but they didn't do anything with him. He was just kind of there. I'm not weak and all he gets Roundhouse kicked by Shadow and that's about all there is for his backstory He's a cool looking character has some pretty cool powers with that Phantom Ruby, but His boss fights aren't that great. He copies Metal Sonic. What's Metal Sonic? Oh, yeah, Metal Sonic's on here. My mistake he Copies Metal Sonic's boss fight and ultimately he just kind of Fell flat, but he is still cool. He has a good personality to him I know a lot of people would put him in C or D, but I think he's ahead of the Babylon Rogues, ahead of Dark Gaia even, but behind Merlina. Merlina, Merlina, whatever. Nightmare Fuel the Ghost, aka King Boo ripoff. Uh, Big Boo, or... I don't remember what it is. It's just a giant ghost. He's terrifying and creepy, but he doesn't really do much as far as a villain goes. I'm going to put him in the D rank. He's got less personality than Chaos, as far as I'm concerned. He's just a big ghost that you run away from in Sonic Adventure 2. He's creepy. Yeah, you know, yeah, put him there. Right, yeah. Actually, no, he's he's going in the E rank. <laughs> what am I here? Now that I think about it, he didn't do anything. He was just kind of there to fill spot. Fill up time. Still no S's. That's about to change because we have Mephilus. Mephilus is one of the best things in Sonic 06. He tricks Shadow, he tricks Silver, he manipulates everybody, although they're stupid to believe this guy, because his voice is all ominous and evil. But he is a really cool villain, has a cool design. Boss fight's not that great, but he does the one thing a lot of these villains have never done, and he kills Sonic the Hedgehog. For that, he's going in the S category. Metal Sonic or Neo Metal Sonic? I'm gonna count it as Metal Sonic as a whole. Everything about Metal Sonic. If it's Neo Metal Sonic, he's getting a B. He's cool, but he didn't do too much. If he's go if we're going with Metal Sonic as a whole, which I am, then he's S. I mean, he's the ultimate rival for Sonic before Shadow. He is exact, and even when Shadow shows up, they made Metal Sonic of antagonist still. This is a great villain. Fantastic villain, actually. Uh, I would put him ahead of Mephilus, but we're not ranking S's just yet. Zavok and his crew, they're boring. D, front of D, they get, they do some things, but ultimately they're forgettable when you think Sonic villains, unless you grew up with Sonic Lost World. I know there's some kids out there that did, 
Unless you grew up with that game, though, these aren't that memorable for me. I can't put them anywhere higher in front of the... The Time Eater! E. Hear me out. The Time Eater isn't a villain. Oh, uh, yeah, no. He's not a villain. It's not a villain. It's just Eggman and classic Eggman, but they're not telling me that. This is just supposed to be the Time Eater that sucks away all his friends. It would have been a really cool villain if they did it right. Honest to God. But it's not a villain. It's just a fake out. So it has to go behind all these because at least everybody here is a villain. The Time Eater makes no sense to be on this list, let me tell you, but it's there. And we've reached our final villain. It's Dr. Eggman, the arch nemesis to Sonic the Hedgehog. And I can't include comic lore. So, you know, a heavy king, I just realized, like, since I'm not going to include it for Eggman, I'm not including it here. We're going to be. I can't include comic lore. So, with that, he's still an S. I mean, he, he, he's been the villain since the very beginning, right? Like, he, he, he manipulates Shadow, manipulates Knuckles, builds Metal Sonic. He straight up builds all these different robots. He has his own theme park, all of this. He wants Sonic dead to rights. He's the ultimate villain for Sonic the Hedgehog. He has to go in S. He's the arch enemy, at least. Now, I said ultimate villain. We'll see. Because now, it's time for us to decide out of these three who the best villain is. Let's start with Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic is awesome. It's Sonic, but metalized, turned to a robot, whatever you want to call it, and being evil and all-around badass. He's a great character. However, he's only great because he was built by Dr. Eggman. And by being built by one of the other villains, or being in con controlled by one of the other villains on this list, even though in Sonic Heroes he does that Metal Overlord um, transformation that's really cool, besides that one moment, Everything else was by Dr. Eggman. And because of that, he's going in the A category. He drops. Now we're down to Eggman and Mephilus. Mephilus killed Sonic. Mephilus be, uh, told Silver to kill Sonic. Mephilus uh, manipulated Shadow. Mephilus was just all around demonic. And that's what he's got going for him. Well, he doesn't have going for him. He doesn't have that great of a boss fight. His theme song isn't as memorable. Blah, blah, blah. Eggman. What's he got going for him? Well, he built a satellite trying to destroy the planet. He built Metal Sonic trying to kill Sonic. He's built tons of robots, but ultimately have been stopped. He teams up with Infinite and ultimately gets stopped. That's his downside. He even interferes in the freaking riders races, which is unbelievable. But given what Eggman's at right now, currently, in the shows and the lore and how they treat him, He's not really the arch enemy of Sonic anymore. I mean, he is, but he seems more like a frenemy than an enemy. And he loses so many times to Sonic. He's beaten him once with Infinite's help, but without anyone's help. Eggman has blown up and died several times to Sonic the Hedgehog. And because of his failure, you may call me crazy. Call me crazy. You can hate this tier list if you want. But I have to call a spade a spade. Eggman goes to A. Mephilus is the ultimate villain. He's the only one that actually killed Sonic. Killed Sonic. Pierced him through the chest. And his friends had to go and take care of it. I know it was in 06. It didn't look that great. But it still happened. Eggman has failed numerous times with every robot he's ever made. And Sonic has still beaten it. You think he would have made a robot that's not weak to hedgehog quills. But he hasn't. Mephilus wins the villain tier list. And that's all there is to it, guys. There's the tier list. There's the villains in E, D, C, B, A, and F list at S. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know what your top three Sonic villains of all time are. Even if they're not on this tier list, what they are in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you like what you're watching and you want to see more like our dub projects or our shorts, hit that subscribe button. It helps us out. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We're getting there. I think we're like 60 away. It's unbelievable. I couldn't have done any of this without you guys. You mean so much to me. And we're going to get to 500. I just know it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next tier list, my name is Naze. And I'll see you 
next time.